Hello everyone, my name is Kurazar, and welcome back to Star Sector Angry Bees. That's right, baby, we are back. And we are setting out today on a little bit of a mission here. Just gonna quick take a peek at what all is here. Reckless? No. Not bad skills, though. I'm still on the feudal hunt for <laughs> an ion beam. But we have a mission, which is to head up to... Do, 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 where were you? There you are. Zagan, we're going to Mazalot, and we're going to drop off some food for almost 100,000 credits. But then we are moving up in the world, because we have one day to delivery of an LP Manticore, three LP Brawlers, and one Hyperion. That'll be our second Hyperion after the first. The, the first, I say... It was the only Hyperion that we found. It's just the one. Yep, only ever one. Yep, only ever had one. That's for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll have two of that at that point. So let's, yeah, let's get him. Take it. How many do we have now? 170, not too shabby. And they're pretty well trained. We might want to pick up that uh, that extra uh, personnel ship at some point. We had that. We left one of these behind. It could be worth leaving this one behind, and taking the bigger one, the Nebula, actually. But I'm also over here because we have. I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go. We did a uh, a break someone out of jail mission here. Well, out of I guess pirate jail, the brig. Maybe the brig. Um, but yeah, uh, you know what? I'm not sure I have one of these, so we'll grab two in case I don't. No big deal there. And do we have anything in the fleet? To, hello? No. Uh, nothing terribly interesting here. Or here. An omen. A fifth omen would be handy, but again, I'm not super concerned about it. In fact, I might even just make do with four omens. So, let's go ahead and let's make our way up to Mazalot. Sir Mazalot. Oop, ow, that hurt. Let's not do that. It is bad for the ship. Okay, once we get these Hyperions and the LP Manticore up and running, we're going to be a pretty good force to be reckoned with, I'd say. I mean, we're already, for our fleet size, we're already doing okay. Take some junk. Why not? I always like free stuff. Even if it's teeny tiny amounts of free stuff. I'll still take it. Bounty Hunter. There we go. Back on our course. Thank you. We're losing a little bit of money now. Because we bought a whole bunch of those uh, people. The mercenaries. But once our colony gets its farming up, we should be in the black, relatively speaking. Hey, Mazalot, how you doing? All right. Delivering our food. Repair our ships and let's see what we've got. Uh, we have a concern woman in a cheap business suit. You want to give us 500 units of food? No, I just gave you all food. You're a shady one with a data pad. 15 units of drugs, a Kazeron. Nah, I'm good there. Or a guy who wants to sell us Tritac codes. Nah, I'm good there too. Do you have an ion beam? No. Nobody has an ion beam, I swear. <laughs> Nobody has them. They just don't exist anymore. Now that I need one, I just need, I need like one, seriously. Maybe I could do two, but one I will settle for. And we're not getting, getting that even. So, yeah, I would buy one of these guys. These are, mm, yeah, 250. That would be a nice addition to our fleet. Uh, but I think, are you, you are not military. Oh, hello. No one can see me.
Aw. There's a fleet tracking my movements. Darn. I'm out of here. Can't catch me. I'm the sneaky cheese man. That's right. Oh, I'm out. I'm out, dude. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> You'd think I've learned my lesson by now. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, I, I think we got this. I think we got this. Let's, let's do it. Um, will I transfer? No, but I think I forgot to set my guns up right in this again. We're about to find out. Okay, let's see. I want the guy with no pilot with me. Um, why don't we have you guys on him, you on him, and you on him. And you two are pretty free, or you, at least you're free to do what you want. Yeah, I forgot to set my guns up again. I'll just, I'll make do. Like Corazette says, I make a lot of do. Alright, what do we got here? A striker out here easy enough. Uh, I guess we'll head off to the right here and work on these guys. <laughs> nice. Blurp. Boop. Yeah. Eat it, buddy. Turn your ship off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit him. Hit him good. Ooh. He's getting out of there. That's how we do it. That's what the Kurabis do it. Oh no, not not these things. Go away. Go away. Flurp. Gotcha, that time. Alright, let's go get some of these guys. A few of these. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright. No, nah, we're good. Alright. Um, you're pushing him back pretty hardcore. Uh, I am thinking... I'm thinking he needs some help. I think we might need some reinforcements here, too. We only have a couple, though. Let's do it. Uh, you guys... Come kill him. And I will also come help with that. We're on our way! Don't get pushed too far back, my friend. Oh, no, you're gonna get... Oh, no. Come on, get me in there. Get me in there. I don't want to lose the medic for a second time. It's bad enough the first time. All right, you. You're first. Okay, I didn't even touch you. All right. Eat it, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. Alright, he's he's down. I'm pretty sure they're rabbiting. Uh, you're not much of a threat. Let's, let's engage him. You could you don't have to go do that. You you just no, you stay with him. It's fine. We will deal with this guy. Clarp. Have some of this, buddy. Yeah, whatever. Shut your guns down. This thing has no flux. It's ridiculous. All right. He's out of the fight. Uh, then let's go get him out of here. And we might need to deal with that pirate falcon along the way. Yeah, I think he's coming back for more. You want seconds? I don't think you can afford this menu, my friend. We'll divert long enough to deal with you. Sure. Could be funny. Yeah. Toast. No. Turn your engines off, first of all. That's what we like to see around here. In comes the Reaper. 
They stand back for the Reaper. Man, this ship is... It's funny, these ships look like they should be fast, but they are actually quite slow. Alright, what do we got here? Just you guys? Like, this thing's fast when you use its plasma burn. Or plasma... plasma jets. But, like, aside from that, it is not stupendously fast. I have Helmsmanship, and it is only about two-thirds as fast as a Tempest. I'm coming for your engines, buddy. You better believe it. Yeah, turn those things off. Okay, out of the way. Did you just materialize inside him and take damage? You did. Just one minute. Alright, and... Yep, you're toast. Bye. Well, I think we made it without any losses. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Any ships worth taking? No, not really. I'll take your supplies. Why not? And we'll also... No, not take that. Much better. All right. Oh, really? More? All right. I'm going to save here. We're going to pop through. We'll see who's here. Oh, no. Nope. I'm golden. I am out. I am OWT. Whoa. No thanks. I'm going to stop by my good friend Sindria real quick. And <laughs> resupply, refuel, and then we'll go to Thulian Raider Base to pick up our ships. Whoa. That was exciting and interesting. In all the ways you never want to experience. All right, an officer. Reckless, no, I'm good there. Ooh, well, that was exciting. Uh, yeah, let's see, again. We have phase lances, but no other types of beams. All right. That's just my fate, I guess. It's just my fate. Right, let's refuel entirely, and we're gonna pick up, like, that many supplies that should do. Anything interesting here? We do have a Prometheus, and I did say I wanted to buy one, because even with this setup, we can, uh, you know, we're doing okay. We are going to pick up, like, what, five more ships, though? That's going to cut us back to, like, here at most. So I think it is time for Mr. Prometheus to come with us. 128 big ones. Okay, that's fine. And let's refit... You will strip you, and then we'll sell you. You were good to me for a little while. All right, now you. Let's see. I want to do the, kind of the same thing we did here. Engine assembly and well, not not cargo holds. But it'll be the uh, fuel tanks, and then we'll pop on survey equipment, drive field, and then we'll have some left over for other odds and ends. Well, I'm getting kind of low on story points, aren't I? I got six of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, tell you what, we'll skip the expanded or the Oxford fuel tanks for now. We'll just do the engine assembly. We'll build you in for the extra bonus. And then for now, we will just add surveying equipment and augmented dry field. And then later we'll build in the fuel tanks. And that will leave us enough room to put like something on here, at least for defense. If this thing gets stuck in combat, which I'd rather it didn't, but we don't always have the luxury to command that kind of thing. You know, I'm gonna probably put these on. They're not very useful, but they're a little longer range and a little more accurate than these guys. Actually, a lot more accurate. And you get... Yeah, we'll do the flat cannon. It's entirely PD, but whatever. We'll put uh, a light assault gun on you. There you go. And five. 
five vents. Okay. All right, and then that gives us room to buy more fuel. That's a lot of fuel. Hmm. Maybe we'll just do like 1,000. Maybe even just 800. Yeah. Okay. Uh, while we're here, let's stop at Volturn. What's Volturn want? Oh, that's the continuation of this mission, the Sindri mission, which I'm not quite ready for yet. Like, we could just do it and get it over with, but it is sort of like a... It's a short-term commitment. And actually, we're probably not really quite geared up for it yet either. So, let's go to Thule, which I learned is actually Thule, not Thule. Thule is a brand. It's actually, I think, a Swedish brand. And it is named after... Oh, no, go away. Really? What do you want? Nah. We're going to do this. We are out of here. Uh, and yeah, we'll go ahead and pop in here. Why not? We'll just swing. Oh, here's Elbfell. Let's see what they have here. They might have an ion beam. Nope. <laughs> I'm thinking if I say it loud enough, it'll happen, but I guess not. All right. How about anything cool to buy here? Got a really trash manticore. We got a pretty trashed Valkyrie. Uh, and a bunch of other junk. So we're going to say no. And you guys are starting to get toward junk status, unfortunately. What is your faulty automated systems? I can deal with that. That's fine. Fuel injector, armor. And you have two now. Degraded life support. Yeah, you're fine. And you lost fuel injector. And you are systems. Okay. So we're still looking okay for the most part. I think you're about ready to go, though. I haven't really found a use for you lately. Two supplies per month. Yeah, let's strip you. And you get to uh, go out to pasture. Bye. Let's repair our ships. Nothing there. You want to sell me something? Sterissa Wing Blueprint? No. I'm good. Alright, so we are off to Kazaron probably first. Maybe they'll have some ion beams if I say it enough times. Nope. Got the other beams I don't need. <laughs> that is just so funny. Anyway, that's making me cry. Ooh, we do have the Valkyrie though. I did say I wanted one of these. We do have the money for it. It's a little... We're getting a little a little uh, threadbare here, but... I think this will be worth it. This way we can... Take that off of you. We can sell you. Bye. And you get to become our new... You know, she can do ion cannons. You are our new troop transport. How does that make you feel? And you are fast, so we don't need to worry about that. You'll get survey equipment, uh, solar shielding, sure. And then, I guess, a few vents. That's all I got for you, buddy. This should never go into battle, though. Just FYI, this should never, ever go into battle. Not for combat. Look at that flux capacity. <laughs> no battle for you. Uh, eventually, I want to get uh, rid of this, and we'll get a phantom, hopefully. But that's kind of a matter of luck and determination, I guess. All right. Let's save here, and let's see if we can get to the raider base. Let's slow down here. Get into this uh, ring here. And then we will turn off this bad boy. Ooh. We'll go dark. There's a patrol right there. Burp. All right. Just sneak our way in here. We'll 
quiet like. The paper book is here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> he wants to sell me an ion beam blueprint for a story point. Oh my goodness. This game is making fun of me. It is making fun of me now. I had all the luck last episode and maybe the couple before. This time? No, the game is laughing at me now. <laughs> Alright, we have some critters in storage. Let's take these guys out of here. Now, these do all have, unfortunately, the awful ill-advised modifications. And what this does is, basically, normally if your CR gets low, you have a good chance of weapons and engines just blowing up. Um, this causes that when your CR isn't low. Um, so this is going to be kind of useless until we can uh, restore it. These guys should be pretty cheap to restore. 17k and 64k. So with a couple of missions, we can get all of these guys in ship shape, shall we say? Um, so yeah, let's start with some of this. Get these guys at least on the way. Oh, there we go. Like, why did that one in the bottom already have a gun on it? Oh, because I clicked it first. That's why. And what does my other guy up here have? You have swarmers. Okay. We can do swarmers. If I have any. I've got one in stock. The pirates have three in stock. Yeah. And then I think we're done. Yeah, that's okay, though. All right. And then you, I think we need to just outfit at home. Except for maybe you. You can get the hammer. Oh, you can also get one of these, too, actually. And that should be good for now. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. Oh, we need more crew, actually. Get some crew first. We'll bring along an extra hundred or so crew. That should be good. Uh, I guess we will not buy our supplies here. We sure could sell them here, though, if we wanted to. Uh, let's see if Kazron's got some supplies for us for a reasonable price. Ouch. Kazron. Hello. I want some cheap supplies, and you have them. And now we're poor again. Great. All right, so let's see. We have a few missions queued up from Galatia we could take. We could also develop these contacts and go say hi if we wanted to. And see if they have anything for us. In fact, this one I might. Let's develop you. And let's go give him a visit. Ayoko Brez, okay. Yeah, let's go see what we can do there. Let's not fly through the uh, asteroid belt, shall we? And hey, it looks like our income just jumped up massively. Yeah, check it out. I mean, not massively, but it just doubled. So we're exporting five. Very nice. So if we can get some uh, soil nanites and then increase our accessibility, we'll be in really good shape. All right, let's see about mm, dodging these guys. Uh, it's just junk. All right, let's go to Hybrasil. Gonna hang out down. Oh my goodness, no thank you. Let me go, please. I just wanna go to see my friends. You got for me. Nothing. All right, let's pop in here. And there we are. So we have our contact here now. Got any work for me? You wanna give me an old freighter? Nah. Thanks. What do you have? A shade, no I'm good. I'm also poor. I am muy poor right now. Uh, we're going to, I guess, hang on to most of this. 
let's just go ahead and do our missions for the academy. See if that gets us some money. I mean, it will get us money. See if it gets us much money, I guess, <laughs> is the question. Uh, let's restock here. Do you have any... Uh, no. You still don't have any ion beams. Are you kidding me? You have antimatter blasters. You have graviton beams. Heavy blasters. But no ion beams. I don't... I don't quite get it, but okay. I have some metal. And I will take... Supplies. And I will take some fuel. I can't afford that much. Alright. So we'll take 150 supplies, and then we'll take a little bit of fuel, I guess. And now we're extra poor. Again. Alright. Let's go check out what's in Epsilon side door. As opposed to front door. We'll go in the side door. Okay. Making sure they weren't coming after us. Side door is different than side on, too. No big sharks with gleaming teeth here. No siree. Lerp. Stretch this view out a little bit. Ow. Getting a little cocky with my uh, piloting here. Oh no, is it one of these? Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Oh, I don't really like these too much. Nebulae. A probe in a magnetic field some distance away from the center. Okay, well, let's just pop in here. Oh, hey, it's right here. Sweet. All right. Let's swing down here. We'll do uh, one of these, too. Get some hyperspace topography. Something lurking out by that jump point. Okay, cool. Got our package. We're going to save. Because I'm going to bet that Pathers will come and, like, try to knock it out of our hands. Got a lasher hanging out here. It's an LP lasher. Nah. They're, they're somewhat better than regular ones, but, again, they're getting toward the end of their usefulness to us. So we're going to head up to here next. Alpha Hope. We're like Alpha Nope. Let's go straight there, and then we'll maybe hit some of these guys on the way back, like Zendar and these this little cluster right here. These seem like they're a little anemic here. Let's roll. Oh, no, go away. No one needs you. Nobody needs you. Just get me through this thing here. Boop. Goodbye. Let this carry us a little ways. Not too far. Oh, you know what? There I see where we can go. And slip into this stream. Slip into this slip stream. Right about here. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. And we're here. That could be a neat little place to check out. Let's go take a look after this. So where are we looking here? This is a barren bombarded world in the nebula. There are ruins there, okay. Um, yeah, we'll slide in right here, why not? Actually, I'm going to quick save first, then we'll slide in. Inactive gate, don't mind if I do. Yeah. Get some of this good stuff. And we're pretty close to the center. Let's see, barren bombarded world. Rocky unstable. Ah, it's out here. Okay. Uh, let's check out that gate first, and then we'll slip over to that world right up there. Let's go up here. I am going to hit right about here. Should be the center of the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Someone's after me. <laughs> I saw that.
Take this junk. Got a Shrike. A nearby hostile fleet. Oh boy. Take this junk. We'll take that junk. And we'll take this junk too. Alright. See, no ruins there. We're going to save, and let's see. We need to get out here. There's definitely a path or fleet following us, so let's just book it. It will take them a long time to get through the nebula clouds to us. Oh, you're tiny. Are you kidding me? Okay. Let's do it. Hi. You're not even pathers. You're just pirates. Really? Hey there, Captain. Good work finding the target. We all admire your cleverness. She turns over her shoulder to address her crew. Don't wait, you vac hogs. You hear her quietly, the pirate bridge crew giving a round of eyes amid hooting and applause. The pirate leader turns back to the display. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking those coordinates from you and doing some of the good, honest work that the rich man is paying us for. Um, no, I'll decline the invitation. Yeah. I forgot to do my weapons again. <laughs> That's going to be a just recurring theme with me, isn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and engage. Um, we'll transfer to this one. Why not? And continue. All right. So we're just going to bring some of the unleveled guys. So you could use some experience. You could not use experience. Uh, you and you. You're a two, you're a two, you're a one. Let's just bring those guys with us. And I want to do something like uh, you. And that's good. Uh, you come with me. Because I'm a klutz and I might die. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my friend. Hello, friendo. You don't have any uh, shields or anything, so... Yeah, good luck. It's hard to aim this thing. There we go, that's more like it. Mm, I'm good. Oh, you're going after him, not me. Wow. Interesting, okay. There we go, that's more like it. When I actually hit, it really helps. Also helps to not uh, take hits on my shield. There's not too many of them. Alright, buddy, come here, you. I'm also forgetting, I have ammo feeder? Yeah, that's right. I forgot I had that ability. <laughs> I love the ammo feeder. Let's back off and dump our flux, which we can't do manually. We have to uh, actually wait because of SO. Goodbye. All right, there we go. And everything's dead. Nice. I think. Yeah, there we go. Let him go. I uh, don't want your junk. We'll take that. Ooh, we'll take that junk for sure. That is fodder for our other LP brawlers. Oh, hello. We also have a level up on an officer. Woohoo! Okay, good. Ballistic Mastery. That's one I wanted. Right. Very nice. Now, the downside of loving your uh, officers, especially at our income levels, they take more money uh, when you level them up. So, like, he started at, I think, 900 a month. Now he'll be like 1300 a month, so just beware. Widespread ruin, send a team down. Cool. Got that done. And because of our big ships that have the survey equipment and our medium ship that has survey equipment, it now costs five supplies to survey a lot of the small to medium sized planets. And we get. Ah, 
some stuff. Not too shabby. Not the worst. I, you know, wouldn't mind more. But you know. <laughs> All right. I think let's uh, let's check out these other little planets here. Um, and then. Wait, I do have this. When did we get that? Nothing I really want there. No ruins there. I don't think I realized that we got the uh, neutrino detector, which is actually a pretty handy means of de of detecting things. Go figure. Um, for finding. Oh no. Oh, go away. <laughs> Just go away. Jeez. Uh, let's see. What's our fuel range looking like? A little dicey. But I think. Can we go backwards in the streams yet? Spoiler alert. Ah, uh, we're almost there. Oh no, we're not. We're nowhere near that. Never mind. We're a ways away, as I was saying. <laughs> Ignore me. Oh, if I could press the right button, that'd be great. All right, I do want to check out this place here. This looks like a nice little system. So let's swing in here. Yeah. We got three little planets in a row. One with. Yeah, ruins. Nice. Get some hyperspace topography. Every little bit helps, I guess. And what do you have? You have extensive ruins. Not bad. Okay, the alarm went off, but it was but it was fried, okay. Integrated bow. Oh, point of Pense AI. I got all excited about targeting system. <laughs> oh well. All right, anything else here of note? I don't see anything. Nah. All right, so let's see. I think we, we don't want to go down here. That's probably too too far out of our way. But we could check out, say, this. Check out this, we could check out that. And bada bing, bada bang. I guess I'm doing that. All right, let's uh, turn that off, get through here, and away we go. Rum. Screech. Rum. Screech. Uh, let's pop in here, why not? Yeah, jumping in is free, jumping out if you use the transverse jump is not free. Do a survey, scattered ruins. What do we get? Nothing great. Okay, that's fine. And we can turn this on, see if there's anything that pings around here. If you if you move laterally, like and you don't see a ping moving, it means it's probably fake. See, these aren't really moving. So they're probably fake. In fact, I can guarantee they're fake. So I would like to check out this system if we have the fuel. Just to check off a box, basically. Sometimes these planetless systems still have like a lot of junk in them hanging around the star. Whew. It's gonna be close. I think we're fine. You are another white dwarf. Stop in here. Check off a box. Might work close to the dwarf. All right. And nothing here. All right. Off we go. I'm thinking Asconia again. Again, because both fuel and uh, other well, fuel and supplies are both cheap there. So yeah, let's uh, let's get rolling. Slide through these storms here. Thread that needle. Unthread this needle. Da da. Hey, nice. We got paid. I like getting paid. I believe. Actually, no, it's popping at Salus. I don't want to follow the storyline here, but I do want to. Pop in at Kruor and Voltern and just check out their weapons and ships for sale. 
and officers. Because again, we are on the lookout for upgraded officers now. We want more than butts and seats. Running from me, huh? Dock side bar, cheap business suit. Now I'm good. What do you do? Aggressive target analysis. That's that's interesting. Let's see, I can sell this on Lacal for forty-seven a pop. About sixteen k there. I'll think about it. Where do you, Kopesh? Thumper, go away. You go away. You're okay. You get to stay for now. Let's go ahead and we're going to throw on this bad boy. And we're also going to restore this one now that we have the full outfit done. And what do I have on you? Let's see. Esso, of course. Hardened shields, hardened subs, aux thrusters. Well, I'm going to just do hardened subs. Hardened shields. And then we'll do this. Yeah, that should do. The AI is a lot better at handling these sort of slow turning ships than I am, so I'm going to let them have that. That should be fine. You could also use a chain gun. But we don't have any here. It's fine. Right. Target analysis, aggressive. Um, anybody that I don't really want here. Um, you know what? None of these guys are particularly bad. Well, you know what? You're not ideal for this ship. But I do want to move you off. I'd like to have two officers on omens. And I'll be moving one of these guys one of them somewhere to the LP brawler. But they're all steady. Maybe I ditch... Well, no, actually, you're actually good for that because you have missile spec and combat endurance. So I think I'm just going to skip that officer for now. If we had the extra space, if we were up to here, I'd take them. Uh, yeah, this one right here, Office Management. But that's a no. Sorry, buddy. All right, let's get over to Sindria. Big bad Sin Daddy. A dead drop down there. Nah. Oops. Uh, nope, no, we're good there. And, oh, we got two of these, though, I'll take those, yes. Uh, 25 a unit, that's fine, I'll take it. I don't need to worry about going elsewhere for this. Let's get rid of these two. Uh, what else we got going on here? We needed some of these. And let's do... There we go. And then, ooh. All right, let's try this again. Uh, let's see, 56. Get up to 80 something. Nope, okay. Sure, <laughs> that ought to do. Uh, and, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Oh, wait, nope, I lied. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to deck these guys out with their assault chain guns. And if they happen to have any swarmers here, I'll just grab those too. They don't, that's okay. All right. Goodness. Terrible wreckage here. Uh oh.
Oh, you're fake. You faker. Take the shepherd. No, thank you. Just your stuff. And let's go back to Galatia. Although we are near or at Corvus here. Let's go to Corvus. Hit a Sharu. And I think what we'll do is again check out things going on here real quick. Look for Nope. No ion beams. And I think what we'll do for time being is until we get some more money, we'll leave this here, leave these two. This one, if I can outfit you properly, I think I can. And so we can either do cry the heavy blaster or the cryoflamer. The cryoflamer is sustained flux per second is 300. This one is 720. But it is higher while it's firing. It's also a much shorter range. DPS is 500, but this is 450 overall. It's 1500 while it's firing. And it is the same, same type. It's the, energy it's the energy type, so... Uh... Yeah, we can do you. Why not? Always fun for a laugh. All right, so we're going to need a few things. We're going to extend the shields. Uh, we're going to want hardened shields at some point. I'm not sure we can afford it right now. Hardened subs is getting built in right away. And then I got to think. Oh, we do have an integrated target unit. Okay. I know where that's going. Uh, I actually had a fun thing. So, one, this is actually really good because this is basically three... OP, or effectively 15 OP worth of vents while our shields are up. And what's funny is, I had, in my previous playthrough of this style, I accidentally built this in once. And for some reason, that ship basically never died again, and I think it's because of that 10% conversion of hard flux to soft flux just really helped me be able to dump more flux easily. We'll take resistant flux conduits. Um, and actually, we're getting pretty good here. Uh, weapon mounts, no. I mean, this is nice, but not really needed. I like aux thrusters. But I don't have to have it. That's like a, it's a stretch goal, pretty much. Um, I think what we'll do here is let's take... Yeah, we'll do hardened shields. Because that's a, an additional 12% less damage. We're going from 60% damage on a, a trade-off for Flux to less than half. And we'll build in the Hardened Shields. Bam. That gives us 10 to put in here. And 10 to put in here. Like I said, 10 to put in there. <laughs> so we have almost 10,000 Flux Capacity and 600 Dissipation. That's pretty well on par with everything going on here. So this is a nice ship. So first of all, let me uh, auto assign these. Uh, we're going to change the ion pulsar to auto. And the cryoflamer is one that we will control. And we're going to put ourselves in here. Yeah, baby. This is now our flagship. Probably forever. I could probably ditch you, but you're, we'll see how you do. I might, I might keep it for a little while longer. As like a, a backup a backup flagship which I do often do <laughs> so one of the things with these ships is they are interesting they're very interesting uh, let's do this guy um, so they're not super fast I mean they're pretty fast we have 205 speeds so we're as fast as the um, as the Tritac brawler was without its jets on so we're, we're reasonably you know peppy its real strength, though, is we can do something like this and get up nice and close, and then we can teleport and do all kinds of silly stuff like, like that. Now, the thing with the teleport is that it's really good for getting into trouble. Um, getting out of trouble is actually not as good because what happens is you know, I'll, I'll bring the shield up and then we'll teleport away. Watch what happens to the ship right before I teleport. Did you see that? The shield dropped, 
like a split second, like a quarter of a second before the uh, teleport actually happened. So if you're in trouble and you're hoping to use the teleport to get away, you might end up actually dying because of it. Hi, dude. Like right here, we literally wouldn't want to teleport right here. But now we can. Hi, dude. But yeah. The cryoplamer is uh, pretty cool. And unlike the Tritech Brawler, we have a lot of flux capacity to play with here. So, taking a look here, we have so 10,000 versus 5,000, basically. So we've doubled the flux capacity and almost doubled the dissipation, too. So, yeah, this is basically a bigger version of this uh, with some crazier abilities. I do want to... I want to find make a way to make this thing useful, though. Like, this is a fun little ship to think about. Just... I wish it was faster. Oddly, although this is supposed to be 50... Oh, I know why we weren't super fast. It's because we were deployed alone, and we weren't getting the benefit of coordinated maneuvers. So that's why we were as slow as the other ship. So we should be a little bit faster, I guess. All right, let's go talk to Alvis. Turn in that last mission that we currently have. Hello, Smoogler. Before we do, Jengala, do you have, do you have an ion beam for me, my friend? No. Okay. That's fine. I may have to go and uh, check out some more Tritac areas to find those. Alright, Pontus, here we come. And in we go. Hey, Alvis. Wonderful. Okay, so we got the thing. We got paid. Inquiry about jobs. So here's where they really want us to do the Tritachion Black Site Extraction Mission. And this is one of the story missions because we are now up above, I think it's about 50 or 60 with Alvis. Uh, that sort of determines what missions you'll, you'll get from him. Um, so, so these sound nice. Interested in anything? Um, where is this? Yes, okay. Sebastian clears his throat nervously. The pro said I shouldn't, um, I can't tell you the location of the target system until after you accept. So, he trails off and realigns the data pad on his desk, as if that might help. Everything's up to order. He has no choice but to continue speaking. This mission requires discretion. As I'm sure you know, there are many, uh, technically, unclaimed systems outside the core worlds. If some polity were to make an official claim, they'd have to establish a charter and, well, this would technically give the domain jurisdiction. Of course, without domain around, the hegemony has claimed successor status and has therefore stepped into the role of... Sebastian noticed you drifting. I'm, I'm sorry, Captain. What I mean to say is that the Tritachion Corporation considers the site in question to be outside the jurisdiction of... Uh, anyone. And it is therefore within their rights to establish uh, a secret research base and defend them however they see fit. Uh, the hegemony disagrees. And so, um, Sebastian pinches his eyes shut for a moment. Uh, they hire these mercenaries and and they shoot anything that comes near. It's terrible. Watch out for mercs. Got it. The mission? Oh, I was just getting to that. Well, the previous provost, Thomas Kalachor, uh, he worked closely with Tritachion. There was some pretty exciting research, actually, and... Uh, sorry, the mission. An academician from the Glacier Academy is still a stationed at one of these secret research bases, and Provost Baird wants them back. But this academician was never there in the first place, technically, legally speaking, because it was all a big secret. Sebastian looks pained at the logic of these politics. So Tritachion isn't, um, cooperating, do you see? You made a kidnap a researcher from a secret Tritachion base. No, no, no. It's it's not kidnapping. Sebastian seems sick at the thought. The researcher wants to come home. He managed to get some communications out and we set up a whole system. Uh, he looks around. Please don't tell anyone I told you that part. Um, so, so if you can help. Provost Barrett has insisted that you receive 100,000 credits. I'm authorized to provide more information if you, if you accept. We'll do it. Wonderful. Academician Sebastian looks relieved. 
The research base is on the planet Minos in the Gamma Ooze system, which is 37 light years from here. You want to avoid the uh, uh, mercenary patrols. We believe they'll be guarding all the jump points, so if you can find a large gravity well to jump to, that could get you safely in system. Then go to where the research base is hidden and contact Ac Academician Mimas Pollard through the coded frequency that I'll provide. He should be able to shut down the base's security for long enough to get aboard your ship. Sebastian rereads his data pad with a concerned look, then adds, There's a way to get back to hyperspace without using a jump point. It might be useful. He looks up at you, perhaps wondering if you'll think him insane. It's not a joke. Before the hegemony arrested so many of our top hyperspace researchers after the uh, big incident, one of them, Academician Silla Caruse, was working on this theory, and we were very close to finding an application for sort of transverse jump, which could move a ship directly to hyperspace from normal space. He puts on the data pad, looking worried. Theoretically. Oh, I know how to do that. You... What? Sebastian looks stunned, processing your statement. I, I, I suppose, of, of course, there were there were rumors, anecdotes. Uh, do, uh, do, do you mind providing some of your navigational logs? The data would be quite fascinating, and, and I'll have my nav officer provide everything you need. Wonderful, he smiles. This could confirm the, uh, right, you have things to do. Where were we? Academician Sebastian sits up a little straighter. Yes. I'll transmit all the necessary information, Captain. Good luck. He puts down, then picks up the data pad. And, and please be careful, he adds. Uh, debris field scan. That's actually not too bad. I kind of wanted to go up here anyway, take a look at, uh, was it Tempest? No. Maybe I don't want to go there. Um, uh, we'll take it. No more jobs, okay. Um, let's see. So, I think I'm going to hit Ansira. We'll grab another mission if there's one here. And then I think we'll call the episode. See, we got some more mercenaries, but we're getting kind of kind of poor right now. Nah. Oops. Um, yeah, nothing I really want here. Wouldn't mind some fuel. And where is Darren Kuyu? You're there? Yes. Take a quick peek there, too. Hello. We have a concerned man. Ooh. 85k. Basically free money. You bet. Hey there, Nil Stanley. Ballistic and energy of mastery. Not great for most ships. For an eagle, maybe. <laughs> oh, you're coming with me. Finally. 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 Oh my goodness. Auto assign. Yes. One OP left. We're going to put it in there. Yes. Oh my goodness. It has been too long. I'm actually going to ditch this, because we have these guys here. And we have defense targeting right? We do! Look at that! Yeah! That way this guy won't, like, send their uh, talents to uh, escort anybody else. They'll just stay with the ship. And that gives us leeway to do a little bit more here. Not much, but it'll do. Also, weapon groups. <laughs> I forgot this again. There we go. Linked, alternating. There we go. Forevermore it is fixed. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> and that sh should do. So yeah, next episode we will uh, start off by taking that ore up to, uh, I believe it was Cindria. Yep, straight to Cindria. We'll refuel while we're there. Uh, I might, uh, I think we might even do... Now, I think, I think we'll actually stop here along the way. Um, we will uh, talk to our pirate guy. We'll actually develop this contact. We'll do that right now. Talk to them. Uh, deliver this. Get fuel. Talk to him. And then I think we'll take a look and see what kinds of bounties and 
exploration missions are around. Um, because, like I said, we, so we need to go up up here anyway. We're going up to... Uh, up here for that one mission for Galatia. So, like, this one could be a really good idea. Asteroid field and reaches. Yeah, we'll take it. So, that way we can sort of double up on the amount of money we're getting while we are out and about. Also, a couple of other odds and ends there, too. So, yeah. But we will do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. And, as always, my name has been Korazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.